Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Welcome to the Sean News Show. Friends, great to be with you today. We have an amazing show, friends. On this episode, we're going to be unveiling something that I don't think has been discovered on the internet anywhere. I don't mean to be bombastic. I'm just speaking the truth. Tom Segura, Burt Kreischer, a couple of liars, two liars, two hacks, one cave. They have a podcast. Friends, I've caught them in a massive lie. We're going to expose this lie it's been all over the news. I have not seen one person like Sean News calling it out. I'm getting a lot of hateful comments telling me I suck, telling me I'm not. What kind of news organization is this? You're not even funny. We are exposing and breaking news that nobody else is looking into. And it just happens to be Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura, some of the biggest hacks, some of the biggest liars, some of the biggest grifters on the internet. And we've made it no secret our goal is to get them canceled, to get them kicked off the internet. We've been calling and letting everyone know they're lying to their audience. They're, they're, they're uh, monetizing every aspect of their lives. They're constantly working. They're terrible parents. You got Tom Segura. Go back and look at some episodes. His kids don't respect him. His kids are beating up house guests. They're lying about all the profanity their kids are saying. Or they're telling the truth and the worst parents ever. You decide for yourself. A lot of lying and a lot of grifting. And the thing is, the YMH clan, the YMH idiot army is coming after me, attacking me. We're just calling balls and strikes. We're not doing any. We're not lying. We're not, you know, grifting. We're not monetizing every aspect. We're not exploiting our audience. We respect our audience. They don't respect you. They think you're a bunch of idiots. And, you know, after seeing some of the comments from the YMH army, they are idiots. My thing is, we got to get truth back on the Internet. I'm uncomfortable with this idea that just because you're a comedian that you get to lie and make up stories. And, you know, Burt Kreischer says it all the time. I swear on the life of my children and my wife. I swear on their lives. This is true. And then he lies. And we have so much content, friends. The interns, I got to say, for 75 worthless people that really have no business, I was trying to actually tell them, look, I get that they're unpaid. I get that. But they should be paying me. Like, that's not legal in the state of California. I'm like, well, really, I'm getting nothing out of this. They're holding me back, if anything. But they're starting to find a lot of content. And I want to let YMH Studios, I want to let Burt Kreischer, I want to let Tom Segura know, we're on to you. We're seeing the whole scam. You can send your idiot army after me and talk about my, my comments aren't good and my likes aren't good and I'm a hack or whatever. We're exposing you for the liars that you are. And we're breaking big news, friends. We're going to show you exactly what it is. We're going to give you a little hint. They gave each other some birthday presents. They got this gay thing going on where, you know, Tom Segura gift, gifted him an e-bike and then Burt Kreischer gave him a C-do, which is like 14. They have to constantly tell you how much they're spending. That's what really gets annoying. So they're reading ads to you every five minutes. They're selling you merch. They're selling you this. They're selling you that. Go to my Patreon. Do this. Do that. Oh, by the way, I bought my friend a fourteen thousand dollars gift that he doesn't need. I'm, I'm spending a hundred thousand. I gave him a, a private chartered plane that I didn't even enjoy with him. I just I'm paying for. And I'll tell you right now, friends, they're not paying for any of this crap. It's all cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Promo, promo, promo. We're just and we're gonna go through it, friends. I've been traveling a lot. I got a lot of meetings. I have a lot going on. But I said, when I'm in the studio, we're going to be exposing these frauds. We're going to get them kicked off the internet. That's the goal. That's the mission. So, friends, if you're ready, you're going to enjoy this. It's going to be one of the greatest episodes you've ever seen in life. We're going to take them down, friends. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I am not going to do a damn thing until everyone is ready. I want you ready. I'm standing up. I want you up. I want you ready to go. We're taking down. YMH, we're taking down Tops and Grunt. Oh, yeah. We're taking down Burt Kreischer. About damn time. He's a big fat liar. A big fat liar. Burt Kreischer, Tom Segura, two losers, one cave. Two liars, two grifters, one cave. Thanks a lot, Joe Rogan, for introducing us to these amazing comedians. Oh, man. What would we do without them? Thank you so much, Joe, uh, Joe Rogan, whatever his name is. Thank you so much for bringing these people into our lives. It's really, it, the world's a definitely a better place, as you can see from the economy and having Joe Biden as president. I am not a fan. And actually, friends, this actually, this thought actually passed my mind. The interns are sending me a lot of stuff. I said, wouldn't it be funny if I actually became a big fan of YMH and, you know, became a mommy or whatever? They, can you imagine calling yourself a mommy? 
YMH is the dumbest name for a show ever. It's not nearly as good as Shanae's. But I can guarantee you that ain't going to happen. These people have no ideas, no content. You'd have to be the most NPC-minded loser out there to even think these guys are interesting. A lot of people were like, oh, they used to be good. Now they suck. No, they've always sucked. They've always sucked. You used to suck. Now you're good. Now you're watching Sean News. Now you get it. Now you have changed your mind. You have, you have leveled up, as they said. And it's about damn time. Great to have you here. Friends, watch this. This is just a few months ago. Tom Segura. We're, we're not going to ruin the surprise. We'll just play this. Transition to something no. that's cheerier. Yes. Natural disasters. I was actually thinking your birthday gift. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll talk natural disasters. Uh, so I, I was trying to set a limit on... So, so people know, we did, you know, jet ski or e-bike, jet ski, private charters, a oh, fucking race car. And then we talked about how this is going to get... <laughs> Out. This, this is, is, the is look, out of control. This is the look on that guy's face that we were talking about. Oh, it's getting out of control. We have so much money. We can just spend money on all these great things. Oh, by the way, sign up for our podcast. Sign up for our merch. Uh, go to our Patreon. Give us money there. Go to my show. Do this. Go to my watch my movie. Do that. Do this. Do that. Is anybody picking? Okay, you have all this money. Why are you asking us to do anything? Why don't you just not buy each other race cars and give us free entertainment? Why don't you just... Do it for free. Why do we have to sign up for your patron? Oh, but Sean, you don't get it. We have to get money. We have to get their credit cards. We need to put them in debt. We need to ruin their lives. We need to make them homeless like the Golden Hours making their fan base homeless. Yeah, you don't get it, Sean. Come on, we could be making more money all the time. This is why, Sean, there's a new sheriff in town. We're not in it for the money. Call me a grifter. You guys don't know what a grifter is if you think Sean News is a grifter. Oh, yeah, so we're getting out of control. We're buying each other diamond bracelets and Bugattis and Rolexes. and all. It's crazy. Like, I want to buy this guy like a hedge fund. I mean, we're making so much money over here. And, and then people are watching this saying, yeah, let me give you my credit card. Hold on. Can't wait to go to your movie. Can't wait to go to your show. Can't wait to put more money in your pocket that you don't deserve. Level up already. Grow out of this stupid phase where you think YMH and Two Bears, One Cave. Listen to the theme song. It's not cool like Sean News. It doesn't pump you up. It's like Two Bears, One Cave. One name's Bert. One name's Tom. Couple of d losers. Couple of queers. It's, it's, it's not that even the theme song's not funny. Talking about earlier yeah, when yeah. I said I bought you a race yeah. car. Ready? And you know the guy yeah, I'm talking yeah, about. This yeah, is oh, yeah. Bought, each other, bought, each other, bought him a race car. Wow. That, this is great comedy. Wow, guys. I, I think I might be a fan of YMH Studios after all. <laughs> you notice this? This is the way I know. I know you guys are like, just let it play, Sean, for the love of Jesus. Can you let it play? Hear the fake laugh in the background. This is a trick that they do to make themselves seem funny. They have a guy in the background who's like this. <laughs> and they think that that la adds a layer onto the show. Sean News would never do anything like that, right, guys? I mean, we don't need to do that. I think it's actually funny. That, that's really funny. Right. Bring it down. Bring it down. Don't you cough. Don't you cough. Don't you dare cough. Don't you dare. <laughs> Kick him the f Not gonna get mad Not gonna get mad today They're not gonna get me down so if, if you guys can get that impression Put it in the comments I, Bert, I, I tell Bert this I go you know I can I go I'm not I'm not Gonna Bow out of this thing I go but you know We We keep Raising this and and right away yeah, you go, you're so rich. You got so much money. We get it. We get. It. Oh, by the way, both of their parents were rich. Oh, by the way, Tom Segura's dad was like vice president of a bank because all of our parents are like that. So you know, when we make money, we just throw it around. We're buying everything. Oh yeah, by the way, sign up for my six dollar Patreon. Sign up for that. Sign up for this. How much is their stupid Patreon? How much is their? Oh no, you have to subscribe on their page, right? If you want to join. Sign up for all their crap. Let's see. How much How much money you guys want from us? Oh, we got a store. Oh, look at the $15. Look, you get a t-shirt for $35. Wow, look at these ugly. Look at this crap. An I'm poor washcloth. Oh, wow. Really great stuff. Really awesome. Oh, Christina P's perfect red lips. $30. I mean, these people are such losers buying this crappy merch from these grifters and idiots. 
Don't you want to sign up for their po- podcast and join their their next level so you can get more benefits and you can watch ads This week free? on your mom. Why? Hey, mommies, oh, we updated our channel. Four ninety nine 99 a month. Wow. And if I sign up for nine ninety a month, I can be a certified main mommy. And if I say pay $20 a month, I can be a certified main, mo- main mommy gene. Isn't that funny? Isn't that hilarious? A certified main mommy gene. That's the best they can do, these great comedians. $20 a month. What do you get for that? One day early, zero ads, and two plus two bears episodes. Oh, wow. Wow. That's amazing. One day early plus all the YMH Audio Studio podcasts for free. This is great. No, this is funny. This is actually funny. Same perks across all levels. No new perks. This is only if you feel like it. Literally the same as 1999. What? That's amazing. So this, this extra level is literally not offering you anything, friends. It's not offering anything. So it's certified mommy. You get one day early, zero ads plus two bear episodes. Certified mommy. You get one day early plus zero ads on all the YMH pog, all the other crappy ones they have. Certified main mommy. It literally says right here, friends. I'm not kidding. I don't know if you can see this. Nope. I wish I could go up further. Well, I guess I have to go back. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry. I'm getting angry. I can feel you guys' anger coming through the screen. Look at this. No new perks at this level. We just want more of your money because we have no respect for you. See that? No new perks at this level. This is only if you feel like it. Literally the same as 1999. What does that even mean? What a bunch of grifters and liars. Frauds. You're going to see, friends. You're going to see. We're going to draw this one out. You're gonna, we're going to get you all invested in these people. Because I want you to have it in your heart. And I want you to say, enough. I watched this. I wanted to tell Sean he was a loser and a grifter and all that. But you know what? He's right. Enough is enough. If you're so damn rich, why are you hitting us up for money every five minutes? Why are you trying to get us addicted to nicotine? Why are you lying to us about what your kids are saying, which no, no, never, ever happened? Why are we wasting our me- money, our energy, attention, and time on a couple of fat hacks that have no business having any money? Oh, wait, because our parents already gave them money. How much of that money, uh, Tom Segura, came from your dad to kick off your career? We want to know. We want to know. Go, like, let's not do it. Let's not do it. It, it gives me anxiety. That I know I have it's to giving me this. massive anxiety because your birthday is in April. Yeah. So, I, I know your oh, birthday. Geez, I know cares? your birthday more, better than I know the gifts. Yeah. <laughs> I think about your gifts for you more than I ever think for her. Oh, same. That's because you're gay. That's because you're gay. I want to hear Tom's. I want to hear uh, Bert Kreischer tell us about how, how gay he is. Because honestly, this is so gay. Oh, man, bro, I love you so much. I can't wait. And the funny thing is, Bert Kreischer bought him a sea do had it sent to his house. You know, that's a very imper. That's just, I, I got money, and that was probably a gift from a sponsor anyway. And then Tom Segura got him a private plane chartered, but a nicer private plane than they normally travel on, and he wasn't even there to enjoy it with him. I mean, it's just pure materialism. This is why we need a recession or depression. I'm rooting for one right now. Bring it on. We need it. It's about damn time. Same, same. So... I, I decide I'm gonna, I'm trying to set like a, 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 a I go we're gonna still spend money yeah just like try to bring it down to earth. Well, I end up going black market on this gift, right? When get, do I get it? I, it's right here. No. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. So hold on. Okay. So t- Bert Kreischer's trying to act excited. Oh, it is. Oh, oh, hold on. Wait. I don't see a helicopter or a. Freaking rocket to mo- the mo- moon or Mars? Wait, what? Are you flying me to outer space? What is it? Is it a proton machine or something? Is it a large hadron collider or something? What is it? Come on. Where did you get this off? Is it a nuclear weapon? A nuclear bomb? Is it fitting? How is this fitting in this room? I end up having... I, I, I put a feeler out and I uh, I get like... You know, there might be a guy, why is, and then there's a why guy who knows a guy, freezing? and I have to get cash because they're like, they're like, you know, Wait, this type of thing fuck? doesn't have, like, you can't like use your credit card. So now I'm having to do like cash deliveries and cash withdrawals and, and like trying to 
to get the amount of money that yeah, this you're rich. Wants. We get it. Gosh, I'm so sick of him hearing him talking about money. This is supposed to be funny. This is supposed to be interesting. So, God, I had to get like thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, it's, oh, it was so hard. Oh, by the way, sign up for our $6 thing. Buy my ugly t shirt for $35. But I, yeah, I had to go get thousands and thousands of dollars for this black market stupid gift that you don't even need. So I can flaunt my wealth in front of my audience of idiots for this thing. And I know that you're, uh, I know that you like history and I, I do. Oh my God. Get ready. Oh my God. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen, hold on. Listen, hold on. Hold you're on. about to give me Nazi hold memorabilia. No, 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 no. Just hold on. <laughs> Look at that friends. Right there. Burke Kreischer says, if you're about to get me Nazi memorabilia and literally exposes the gift before it even happened, that stupid idiot. That stupid idiot. <laughs> This is why Tom Segura is like, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're about to get me Nazi memorabilia, that's going to... Tom Segura is like going, fuck, are you kidding me? You, you guessed it already? Now he's got to pretend to act excited. Oh, this is too funny. The question is, did, per, did Burt Kreischer already know or he's just an idiot that guessed and completely stole the thunder and completely ruined this gift-giving experience for Tom Segura? It's really amazing. On, Let's watch hold that on, again. Hold on. I know that you like history and I listen to this. Oh my God. Oh my God. So hold on. 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 If hold you're on. about to give me Nazi hold memorabilia. On, no, 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 no. Just hold on. <laughs> Look at him go, ah. um, If you're about to give me Nazi memorabilia, and then Tom Jones goes, Ugh. You ruined everything. If you would just shut up for two seconds, Burt Christ, you fat drunk. I could have actually let this out. And told the story and made it a good gift experience. Instead, you had to guess and you guessed right because I'm an idiot and I'm a predictable moron. My name's Tad Fagada. I'm going to be so excited. Oh, uh, then he <laughs> has to really yeah, he has to go, Oh, if you got me on some memorabilia, Tom Stringer goes, Ugh, hold on, hold on, because I'm going to be so excited. Well, you already know what it is. You already know what it is because Tom Segura is super predictable. And you're an idiot that couldn't shut up and let the gift. Giving experience commence. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. I, for this Listen thing. To this. And I know that you're, uh, I know that you like history and I, I do. Oh my God. Oh my God. So hold on. 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 If hold you're on. about to give me Nazi hold memorabilia. No, 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 no. Just hold on. <laughs> Look at that. Um, he, he's like, Ugh. he's thinking right there. Ah, shit. I went through all this trouble to buy this thing on the black market and this stupid, fat, drunk, idiot guessed in two seconds. Even Burt Kreischer was saying, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then Tom Segura was like, no, seriously, hold on. Don't guess on anything. You're going to get me some Nazi blah, blah, blah. Well, that would be amazing. Oh, I guessed it right completely easily on the first try. Oh, wow. This is pretty dope. What do you? What kind of awesome Nazi memorabilia are you going to get from me? This is really amazing. A gun, a knife, a weapon. A grenade. What awesome, cool Nazi memorabilia could you possibly give me? Now we're getting excited. Hold on. Hold on. Hold if hold you're on. about to give me Nazi hold memorabilia. On. Just hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be so excited. <laughs> no, no, no. Bombed. I'm not kidding you. Hold on. This is. Look at this. For real. I'm not kidding you. Go ahead, and I'll tell you the story once you take the top off. Is it going to bite me? No. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> Bert Kreischer guesses right that it's Nazi memorabilia. Tom Segura pulls out this stupid... It looks like it's made out of... I don't even think it's sterling silver, friends. This cheap, ugly, has no artistic value, no aesthetic value, not something you'd want to showcase anywhere. This crappy little saucer in a freaking aluminum container. I mean, this has got to be the letdown of the, of the century. Who gives a damn with this thing? It doesn't look cool. It has nothing special about it. Listen to what it actually is. So he guesses Nazi memorabilia correctly. Tom Segura pulls out the most, the cheapest, crappiest. You can hear how cheap it is clanging around there. This piece of crap tin thing that he bought on the dark internet, dark web. What were you doing on the dark web, Tom Segura? Sounds kind of shady to me. Maybe we should get him. He, Tom, Tom Segura admitted he's on the dark black market looking for shady things. You might want to check him out.
Look at this, friends. Look at this freaking crappy gift. That oh yeah, you, wait till he talks about how much expensive it was. Look at that. This. Let down of the century right here. Go ahead, and I'll tell you the story once you take the top off. Is it gonna bite me? No. No, there's nothing. It's a piece of crap cup. Nothing in there that's awesome okay. that would bite you. That teacup set was at the House Wachenfeld on the Ober Salzburg. And in 1936, Gertie Troost, whose husband was Hitler's architect, was she was his interior designer. She had that teacup set uh, at her apartment in Bad uh, Reichenhall, and a man named Isaac Hahn was gifted it. He sold it to an unknown collector who later sold it to a man named Richard Michael Colliker, who sold it once more to the unnamed party, and we acquired it. And there is basically a 99% probability that you're holding something that the Fuhrer drank from at his vacation home. Oh, really? Oh, really? This is Hitler's cup? That was Hitler's cup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it to your lips. Put it to your lips. Why is that even funny? Why is that funny? Oh, Hitler, the guy that killed six million Jews. You have a cup. If you listen to the story, it's like, okay, so uh, that teacup set was at the Haas Wachenfeld on the Oberstrog. And in 1936, Gertie Troost, who was Hitler's architect, was she was his interior designer. She had that teacup at her apartment. Wait, and you're like, wait. So it wasn't found in Hitler's house. It was found at her apartment. She was an interior designer. How is that guarantee that Hitler was drinking from it? This is the dumbest. And why is there only one cup? Where's the rest of this set? What a crap. Tom Segura, friends, our sources say, got completely ripped off. This is the fakest thing I've ever seen. And I have, friends, I'm going to show you for 100% proof that this entire thing is fraud and fake. It's all fake. This is unbelievable. The burden of proof is on Tom Segura to prove it's real. And what he showed to back it up makes no sense. Let's hear that little tale <laughs> again. That, and there is basically a 90 apartment Listen to this. whose husband okay, that here we go. teacup set here we go. was at the House Wachenfeld on the Ober Salzburg. And in 1936, Gertie Troost. So it was, at, it was at this house that Hitler was at. And in 1936, though, before the, you know, before the, w before the war even started, right? I mean, when did the, when did the, uh, the, 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 when did the um, World War II start? 1939. Okay, so this was there in 1936. So I don't know about this. The, the dates don't really seem to be adding up so far. Whose husband was hit. And in okay, 1936, was at okay. the House Wachenfeld on the Ober Salzburg. Okay. And in 1936, Gertie Troost, whose husband was Hitler's architect. Okay, so the husband of, is Hitler's architect. So you have this, you have this, this was teacup was in the house. And then he goes into, in 1936, this Gertie Troost had a husband who was Hitler's architect. And you're like, okay, so what? I mean, how does this prove anything? Was She was his interior designer. She was his interior designer. So I don't know how this proves that Hitler ever drank from it. He had that teacup set uh, at her apartment in Bad uh, Reichenhall and a man named Isaac Hahn. Okay, wait. So she had the teacup that set. This isn't much of a set. It's literally a, 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 a cheap little aluminum you know, plate with a, with a top on it. And a crappy little cup in it. One cup. And this was in her house. And she was married to the architect. She was the interior designer. And somehow this is this is Hitler drank from this. This is the crappiest freaking gift. It's not even something you know Hitler actually ever owned. This is the worst. Listen to this. Was gifted it. He sold it. Okay, hold on. And a man named Isaac Hahn was gifted it. He sold it to an unknown collector. So, so it passed to an unknown collector. Okay, so as you can see, there's a great chain of custody on this thing. An unknown collector. You know what that means, Tom Segura? Fake. Nonsense. You got took. I Googled these names, friends. There's never been an Isaac Hahn in Germany. Give me a break. Who later sold it to a man named Richard Michael Colliker. Okay, Richard Michael Colliker. Right. Oh, yeah, he got that from the unknown dealer who told him all the other rest of the... T so you're trusting... 
an unknown dealer to tell this last guy, Michael Colicker, what actually happened. Right. Oh, great story. That unknown dealer really made a... <laughs> the unknown dealer is the only honest person in this whole thing. Who sold it once more to the unnamed party. And he sold it to another unnamed party. So you basically have a guy who made up an entire lineage of nonsense. Yeah, it was the interior designer. And she was married to the architect. And this was in Hitler's house in 1936 before the war was even going on. So it wasn't like he was sipping it and, and doing anything related to the war. It might have been, a, I mean, this is the dumbest gift ever. It's the worst piece of Nazi memorabilia, Hitler memorabilia you could possibly own. I mean, get, get, a, get a letter written by him, his favorite pen, a sketch, <clears throat> something. No, let's get a teacup set that was in somebody else's house, and she said it was this, and all these unknown dealers came into possession of it. And we acquired it, and there is basically a 90 nine percent probability oh a 99 percent probability how the hell did you come to that we want to see the math we want to see the math coming out here lying oh there's a 99 cent probability no there's not there's a zero percent probability friends we're going to show you evidence we're going to show you evidence sit through we got a lot to show you we might break this into two episodes friends we might break this into two episodes because there's actually multiple gifts, and the other gift he gave is even worse than this one. Yeah, I think we might, we might save the other part, because the second gift is so bad. That you're holding something that the Fuhrer drank from Zero chance at his for vacation home. This is Hitler's cup? That no, was it's, Hitler's no, cup. No, it's yeah. not. No, it's not. No, it's not. You know what it is? It is a cup that was made and with a story attached to it that your stupid friend Tom Segura lied about spending 22 grand. I want to see the chain of custody. I want to see receipts that you spent $22,000. What a scam. These people are such liars. So here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say we got this off the dark web and it passed through this guy in Idaho and then I'm going to make up all these names and just, you know, there's this person and we're just going to, you know, and I'm going to have a teacup set that you're going to trade for. It's going to go viral. And it did go viral because people are stupid. It did go viral because people go, wait, what? You have it. That's the best. You can do a stupid teacup set that has no inherent value. The only reason it would be worth anything is because Hitler drank from it. Do they have a picture of Hitler drinking from it? I'll tell you right now, the one picture that Tom Segura posted, friends, is a fake. And I have documented proof of that. Get ready. Sean News will never let you down. YMH getting scared yet? <laughs> getting scared? Look at this idiot laugh. Look at this idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Put it to your lips. Put it to your lips. This is the fucking music. <laughs> Oh, get on with it. Isn't that cool? And who's that idiot in the background? I mean, what a moron. <laughs> how is it that funny? How, how, is that, how is this moment right here that funny? That neither one of them are Jews. Neither one of them are German. Ne There's no relation to Hitler whatsoever. Bert ruined the surprise coming out the gates. And it's a stupid teacup thing. You didn't even put any tea in it. Why didn't you fill it up with some tea at least? Such a lazy bunch of crap. Oh, but it has 1.4 million views, Sean. You're jealous of that. No, I'm not jealous of that. I, I have no interest in getting 1.4 million losers to watch my videos. I couldn't care less. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you put something in it? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is the best birthday present ever. <laughs> yeah, you guessed it. I'm supposed to destroy it. I'm supposed to destroy it. No, you can get a lot of money for that. You can get a lot <laughs> of money for that. <laughs> you get it in my hand. You're making me hot. Oh, I thought it was going to be Winston Churchill. Oh, my gosh. This guy's so horrible. <laughs> Hold on one second, friends. I, I got to do it. Arrest that stupid idiot. That dumb fake laugh. How are people falling for this crap? This is ridiculous. I can't even do it, friends. I can't even do it. This is a grown man, a grown drunk man that's a horrible father telling this stupid laughing. Like, it's, so, it's not even funny. It's like, oh, wow, good. You should have filled. Why didn't you fill it up with Kool-Aid? Huh? I mean, Burt Kreischer likes Kool-Aid, according to some fake viral clip, probably. Why don't you fill it up with Kool-Aid? 
Why did you fill it with something funny? Now, that would have been funny. You'd think some comedians could have came up with something funny. No, he just gives them an empty teacup. Who gives a shit about a teacup? He's got a tea set. No, a tea set has a kettle and has some other things. It's, it's not just a, a cup that has a platter on it and a cover. What a ripoff. <laughs> it totally belonged to Hitler. No, oh. it didn't. No, it didn't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude. oh my god I'm you crying. realize he may have been just been like we oh, go get those gypsies like oh. right no he didn't do that because you said in your own stupid story that in 1936 it was in gertie truce apartment so no he nothing interesting was happening with that teacup and i can guarantee you friends there's no chance in hell that adolf hitler ever drank from that i'd be shocked if that thing ever was ever in germany i'd be shocked I want to see the chain of custody. I want to see the money coming out of Tom Segura's account, going to some guy in Idaho, and I want to list, look up all these names. Our interns have been looking nonstop for Isaac Hahn and all these other people. And friends, we didn't find one person. I mean, literally, Isaac Hahn, H-A-N, that's a Chinese name. They don't even know anything about people's names. Oh. Let's sip from it. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh. fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's the most unimpressive. <laughs> it's the most unimpressive cup you've ever seen. Like I said, there's no inherent value. It's not like a cool painting that'd be like, oh, God. And, oh, it, it was also owned by Hitler. That would be interesting. It's a teacup. It's a fucking teacup, friends. Excuse my language. It's a, hold on, hold on, hold on. Friends, it's a motherfucking teacup. <laughs> Where'd happen to that sound, intern? What happened to that? I don't see it. It's a motherfucking teacup! It means nothing! It's stupid! There's no joke! Where's the joke? Where's the tea? Where's the what what could you put in it? They let this is a this is a this is a this is a, this is a, this is a that is a shitty joke. The shitty it's joke, a shitty gift. Look at this Dude. idiot laughing. <laughs> it was twenty two thousand oh, dollars. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's the part. That's the money shot right there for you, friends. That's the part they were waiting to tell you. It was $22,000. Even though they were both born to rich parents, even though they've never had to worry about money their whole life, even though they grift and exploit their audience at every freaking turn, they still got to tell you how much they spend on things. They have no respect. You'd think someone who grew up rich would be over the money thing. You know, see, I didn't come from money, friend. I'm not the kind of that guy that goes around, oh, yeah, I spent 7000 on this, I spent 20000 on this, and I spent... I don't even do that. I never had money. I'm new money. My parents never had money. I'm, the, I'm supposed to be the kind of guy that does that. These guys were going to country clubs when they were kids, and yet they still have to rub it in their audience's face. Oh, that was thirty twenty two thousand dollars $22,000. Oh, that's even funnier. For what? Where, what proof do you have that that's anything? I'm going to show you the proof, friends. I'm going to save it for the end. You're going to love it. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> and I'm going to stop it right there because he says, oh, we're going to get in so much trouble, friends, in a future episode coming up. Get ready for this. Bert Kreischer tells you what the Jews around him said about this teacup. And let me tell you, it's probably one of his biggest lies ever. I mean, this lie, friends, should get him kicked off the internet and canceled. Because now he's lying about what Jews would say. Uh, it's really bad, friends. Like I said, our interns, I got to hand it to them. For being a, a bunch of worthless hacks, a bunch of idiots that don't deserve a damn thing in their life. They don't deserve it. I gave them each a tortilla on Cinco de Mayo. And I said, that's all you're going to get. That's the closest thing to payment you're ever going to get from Sean News. But I got to give it to them. They are finding some good material. And we've got so much on Tom Segura and Buck Crash, friends. We have enough. I could literally create a Patreon just doing episodes on them. And I don't even really need to do I could just sit here. Sean News and the Sean News friends just sit back here and watch them fail. Sit back here and watch them suck. We don't have to do a damn thing, friends. Isn't this life great? We could sit here and go off on a rocket ship. We're going to the moon and we're just watching them fail. All we got to do is find the clips. The material makes itself, friends. Look at this guy. Uh, and to complete the set, I got you some Yeezys. It's going to be a, it's a full thing, man. You're, you're, you're. Okay, that, act that actually, hold on a second. That actually is a funny joke. To complete the set, I got, got you some Yeezys. You notice Burt Kreischer didn't pick up on that. That actually was funny. 
could get it because Bur- uh, because Kanye West is a, is a, is an anti semite or something like that. He's got a super chat. That says, "What's wrong with that? Well, no, a lot of things are wrong with that. Why why do they think it's so cool that to get someone a teacup that was drank by a person that killed six million Jews? Maybe they're anti semites. No one ever accuses them of, of anti semitism. How come the ADL never goes after Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer and says, "Hey, why don't you donate that twenty two thousand dollars to charity? Why are you supporting the Fuhrer and this Nazi memorabilia industry? No, no, nothing happens to them. But Kanye West gets kicked off the internet." He also got him a pair of Yeezys. No one laughs at that joke. That actually was a funny joke. Burt Kreischer, that went way over Burt Kreischer's head. He's not that smart, friends. He's not that smart. You're, you're set up now. Okay, so he doesn't have anything. He knows it's not that funny. He already had his first little micro-organism laughing about it the first time. Now he has to create another laugh. And this is what really angers me because this is where I, they just show you they have no respect for you whatsoever. Look at this. Look, look at the bottom. Oh, oh, this is great. Put your coffee in it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't, uh, why didn't you tell us what was on the bottom? What was on the bottom? The camera didn't zoom in. What was on the bottom? Was that going to prove the authenticity or something like that? They didn't say, friends. No, no, they didn't say one peep. We would actually like to inspect the, the Tika. Friends, I can guarantee it's not real. I can guarantee. Tom Segura did not spend $22,000. He's a, he's a liar. And I want to see the chain of custody, Tom. If you have the, if you have the time of cu- the, the chain of custody of all the money that was exchanging hands and the guy in Idaho and all that, send it on over and our interns will take a look at it. But I'll tell you, even one of the Sean News interns, the most worthless idiots you'll ever find in your life, even they would never fall for a scam like this. They wouldn't buy this thing for $2. And they are idiots. They're worthless, incompetent idiots. There I said, I'll say it to their faces. We had a comment that says, I can't believe you treat human beings this way. I was like, you haven't met the Sean News interns. You want to call them human beings. You want to save that until you meet them. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it right here and put the top back on it. <laughs> oh, friends. People are going to come to my house and go, can I see Hitler's cut? I can't take it anymore. Get the hell over there and arrest that piece of crap. This is not funny oh, on any planet. Oh. oh. Oh, I love this new angle of birthday gifts. It's fun, right? To give people stuff oh, that fun. they can't keep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I knew you love oh. history, so I just figured, you know. Oh my okay, God. so there, there's that. There's that. And I think we, we can do it. We can actually want to do another episode on the other gift that was just so crappy. It just, it's such garbage. It's, it's not even well-executed garbage. So... We don't have anything teed up properly, just so you know. So then we were looking at Tom Segura's Instagram, okay? He posted this on November 14th, 2022, okay? What the hell? What a dork. What a dork. X those things out. This went up on November 8th, 2022. Can you see that, friends, right here? November 8th, 2022. Can you see that, okay? Then Tom Segura goes on his Instagram that has 2.2 million followers. Oh, wow. Isn't he so great? I have 100 followers on my Instagram, and I don't care, and I'm still better than him. How does that feel, Tom Segura? The dumbest comments ever. Oh, that's so funny. I've never laughed so hard in my life. How is it even funny? It's like a half joke of anything. He posted this on November 14th, 2022. The caption says, can you spot the difference? Can you spot the difference between these two photos? Okay. And he's got Burke Kreischer there with a teacup that he gave him. And he has Adolf Hitler looking out the window with a teacup. Okay. Well, I guess that settles it. I guess it is real. I guess we were all wrong. Oh, wait. Never mind. We did some research. And guess what? It's been doctored, friends. See, we did a reverse image search on this, Tom Segura. We put in the image that you gave us, the image that there, and we did a re- little reverse image search, and we found the actual original photo. And we'll looky there. This is image credit Getty Images right there. This is from the BBC. 
women who tasted Hitler's food, image credit, Getty images, and it's all over the internet. And look at that, friends. Does that look like the same coffee cup that he gave to Tur to Burt Kreischer? Tom to Burt Kreischer? Does that look like the same coffee cup? Wait a sec, or teacup? No, weird. Hey, uh, Tom Segura, why did you put a picture of that one when Getty Images has this one? And it's the exact same photo. Did you post a Photoshopped image to try to verify that this was actually real? It looks like you did. Look at there. And you might go, well, maybe the BBC has the Photoshop up there. I'm a stupid idiot. Well, go through any of these, friends. You won't find one that looks, you won't find one on the entire internet except for Tom Segura's page that looks like the teacup that he bought on the internet for 22000 on the dark web. What else did you buy on the dark web for 22000 Something tells me he wasn't buying this for 22000 22, He was buying something else, and this was thrown in as a little bonus. What was it, Tom Segura? We're on to you. Look at these. All of these are the original. The Getty images, and look at that. It doesn't match at all. So now all we have is this photo that came out six days later that has a completely different... I would say, Tom, why did you have to Photoshop the image? Why did you have to do that? And if you look at the, the stupid comments, they're the dumbest losers you ever find in your life. G Buckshot, oh my God, it's real. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's Photoshopped. We caught him. We caught him. We're going to go through and we're going to let everybody know. No, it's not real. All the other comments are, you know, stupid. I mean, these, these people are just, they're, <laughs> I want to say low IQ. I feel like I've been saying low IQ too much. Um, one has Kool-Aid in their thing. Why is the fur using Bert's cup? No, it's, it's, it's a Photoshop. And if you just keep looking, friends... It's a bunch of ass kissers, a bunch of idiots. The YMH fans are losers. I just, I, I just, I, I hate to say it. So they can hate on me all they want. At the end of the day, your boy, Tom Segura, got taken for $22,000, which I, like I said, I guarantee is fake. I mean, he didn't, he didn't spend this money. He likes to brag about how much money he spends. And this photo is doctored. And we caught him. So YMH, I want an apology. Come get your boy. Oh, but Sean, it doesn't matter that it's Photoshopped. It doesn't matter. It, nothing matters. Nothing. Truth doesn't matter. That's the world they want to live in. Come on. It's okay that he completely fabricates a story and then puts up a fake Photoshopped image on his Instagram to back it up. Why didn't he say, oh, no, this is this is the actual one. This one's Photoshopped. We don't have a picture of the actual one, but trust me, it's real. That, that I would have had respect for. But by posting this, he wanted to show the entire internet, no, look, see, it's real. It's real. It's real. And everybody else just kisses his ass. I was looking at Mediate. Every news organization sucks except for Sean News. Comedian Tom Segura gives Burt Kreischer Hitler's teacup set for his birthday. And they write it. They don't look into it. They don't check it. They don't do a damn thing. They just they just reprint whatever. Oh, they got to believe them. Who, who would ever think that Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura would ever lie about something? Oh, they've been lying a lot. They've been lying a lot. See, here's the thing, guys. We're on to you. We, we can spot liars. Burt Kreischer coming out with a movie we hear. We hear it's called The Machine. We've been looking into that machine story. We've been calling our sources in Russia, and I can tell you, it ain't checking out, brother. It ain't checking out. Fat bear guy, it's not checking out the machine. No, we do have proof that you were in Russia, and that's about the only thing that checks out. In fact, all of the things you're saying, oh, it was on Facebook, and then someone else corroborated it. Just because you say that doesn't make it true. We've looked all over the internet, and more importantly, we talked to our sources in Russia. It didn't happen, it never would have happened. This is not how Russians act. We have multiple sources. He said there were two Igors. He said there were two Igors. We looked up how prevalent the name Igor was in that part of Russia when he was there. Friends, it was like the 30th most common male name, I think. <laughs> it wasn't even in the top 10. And he's like saying there were two of those on the same train. Oh, but Sean, that, 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 that's not important. What's important is this and this and this. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like I can't go, guys, 
check this out. 100% true story. I put it on my family and I put it on everybody I know and all my kids. So when I was in college, when I was in college, like I had my 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 uh, roommate. His name was uh, Jose uh, Antonio Rizigler, Rezig and he he was an engineering student and. Uh, uh, he was always working on his homework, and then one day I went out and got so wasted, and I came back to the room, and I was so hungry, and I was like fucked up, and I, I saw it what looked like a pizza, and I ate it all up. It was his homework. I literally ate up his homework, and oh my god, you want to know the crazy part? I puked it out, and then he turned it in, and he got an A+. Plus. Isn't that crazy? But Sean, it doesn't matter whether it's real. Yeah, it does actually, because that that would never happen. That's actually funnier than his stupid machine story. Yeah, he puked up his thing, and they said they gave him an A plus. <laughs> they made him dean of the school. They he graduated with high honors after he turned that that assignment that I pooped out. Friends, I think we've covered enough. Do we want to get into the uh, the uh, second part of the crappy gift? Because there's so much content. I might as well. We're going to show you the even worse part of this. Actually, let's let's show you this first because I want to show you. He's going to try to substantiate this stupid gif right here. So Gertie, so Gertie Truce was the treat. Oh. That's that's where that was. Oh. And she picked it. That's the thing. When she died. Yeah, tell me the story again. Tell me the story Listen again. To story. Okay, so Gertie, so Gertie Truce was the wife oh, of Hitler's favorite <laughs> sorry, architect. Sorry, and she sorry. was an interior designer. Okay. And she did a lot of his interior design and art. And she was the only person who was like not scared to talk oh, shit. Wow. Oh, to, wow. Like disagree now with him and like light him up. And he respected it because he respected her taste and her like her oh, yeah. knowledge of art. Yeah. And, and she's design. got really great so taste. She would she was like the you can pull it up. Gertie Truce. G E R. Oh yeah. D -Y really great taste. T R O O S. There you go. So I'll pull yeah, it up. I'll she pull was it up, Tom. Don't married worry. to, and, and then her husband died. Um, so oh, of course she was he with. Did. That's her right there. She, she he did. pointed like he hired Hitler. Yeah, yeah. And so wow, when well, she be was real, on, guys. she lived like super long uh, into her nineties. Oh um, wow! This teacup was at her home, and um, uh, a, a guy Isaac Hahn, I guess it was gifted to him. And then he was, he, you know. Isaac Hahn. Isaac Hahn. Let's see. Isaac Hahn. Isaac Hahn Hitler tea set. Oh, it looks like there aren't many great searches for your search. Oh, wow. Not a lot of great matches. That's weird, huh? I don't know. A lot of weird details that have nothing to do with the teacup set. We know, we're we learning a lot about Gertie Truce, though. Whoever cares about her. He sold it, and it was sold again and again. Uh, it was sold, no, it was sold to an unknown dealer. Now, here's the thing. When something is sold to an unknown dealer on the black market, everything before that is nonsense unless it's documented, which you don't have any documentation because you're a liar and a hack. And then the one photo you post to try to prove its authenticity is not real. You're not very good at this, Tom Segura. We caught you in a massive uh, lie. Yeah, it's good old Gertie. Good old Gertie. I mean, you know. Her husband's name was Wilhelm. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter what his name is. It doesn't matter. Now, now we're going down into a rabbit hole. Now I'm going to show you. I've just ruined it right there. Let me show you the other gift he got him. Okay. And then we're going to close this out. We're going to do a lot of other episodes. We don't need to break this into smaller. See, we're not grifters. We're not just trying to get views and likes. You can, you can cut this into as many as you want. You can go back and look at them. Spend two, three days looking through this. This is the other gift he gave him, which is so stupid. What did it's you get me? Okay, I need you to turn. So hold on. Oh, my God. So he goes to call oh, his wife. So funny. Doesn't answer. It's a great regift too. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> okay. No, it's not. I can't wait to get you. A no one else will think it's funny. I got you another gift. What did you get me? Okay, I need you to turn that way so you don't see me setting it up. Okay. I'm just gonna put it on the table. Okay. But just don't, don't, don't. Look at this, friends. This is such a letdown. Another massive letdown right. gift. Look at this. Turn around. Turn around. Look at this thing. Okay. okay. So, this <laughs> this is I'm not going to like this. Your second gift. Are you ready? Yeah. A Hitler bust. No, look at this, friends. Look at this. <laughs> look at Bert. He doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> you got him. Got you made out of me. Yeah. It's so, friends. It's so dark you can't even tell what it is. 
It looks like a piece oh. of shit. It, friends, it literally looks like a piece of shit. It's so dark. It's so dark. How you can't even detect features on this thing. It's the darkest fucking piece of shit. Bus, bronze bus I've ever seen in my life. What did they make? They, friends, if they, if they made this, this isn't resin. Resin is not that color. It's the shittiest, ugliest bus you've ever seen in your entire life. And it's so dark. Oh. Look at this. Oh, it looks you like can't even see anything. You can't even see it anything. Look at this fucking thing. That is a piece of shit. That is a piece of shit. Why is it so dark? You couldn't get it to look somewhat. Look at that. You, you can't even tell what that is. That looks like a random black man. I hate to say it. I'm not saying anything about shit. I'm just saying it's so dark. It's like what other brown thing could it be compared to? Look at if that. If he got bloated in the freezing process. Oh, that is fucking great. Oh, no, he's like, why, you're, why aren't you laughing then? Why aren't you laughing then? Why aren't you laughing then? Because it's another crappy gift. That's right. Tom Segura sucks. This is why, friends, they get each other expensive gifts like this. Because they're not, they're not creative. They're not imaginative. It's like they just throw money at the problems. And then when they throw all this money at the problems, it still sucks. Why didn't you have him doing something funny? Why didn't you... You know, attach something funny to it. Why didn't you personalize it? Oh, I just got a bust. Sorry, it's fucking the darkest brown you've ever seen in your life, and you can't even detect features on the damn thing. Happy birthday! I used. Uh, I tried to go for the image. It's kind of hard. to Look at this. You can't. How can you, friends? Can you? You wouldn't know who the hell that is. You would know who the hell that is if you saw that. You'd say, "What the fuck is that thing?" Is that Kendrick Lamar? I mean, what is that? That is so dark. That is so embarrassing. Hard to read on camera, but it's the image from the current tour. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you said no, that the other day. It's not because the camera. It's hard to read because it's made from fucking the darkest freaking. You go. That's a great brown look. resin yeah, ever yeah. seen in our lives. Oh, that's fucking awesome. I asked myself, no, it's not. what are Bert's favorite things? Look. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. And, oh, that's uh, fucking awesome. That's not a look that's saying this is awesome. That's a look saying. I'm supposed to put that in my house somewhere. Why is it so fucking dark? Why did you make it white? Why did you make it ivory or something? Why did you make it fucking black? Shit. Literally, the only color that comes to mind when I see that is shit. Awesome. I asked myself, what are Bert's favorite things? <laughs> Look at this. I thought Nazi memorabilia. <laughs> And, and images of himself. <laughs> oh, tea, tea cups that weren't even owned by anybody. That they, they had an inscription on the bottom that we didn't share. What did it say? Made in Germany or something like that. <laughs> and fucking a Burt Kreischer bus that is the darkest, shittiest color of brown you've ever seen in your life that no one could tell is Burt Kreischer. You wouldn't want that in your house. You know me so yeah, well. Yeah. You know me so well. What uh, I think uh, it was a, a freak shop gallery. Ah! Oh! Another grift, of course. How much you spent on that? Oh, we, I didn't spend any money on that. They gave me $20,000 for that. So I used that to pay for the fake tea set, which I didn't spend money on. So I actually made money on this. Happy birthday. <laughs> Look how dark it is, friends. That's terrifying. Oh, my god. That gosh. does like great. Well, Bert, you have, you have a sculpture of a black man. You can put an armless black man that you can put into your freaking house and say it kind of looks like Sculptures and everything. He did this. Jeez. And uh, I think he That's did a great job. fucking awesome. So that no, is it's fucking not. I think it should awesome. be added. That is a massive fail. It's Friends, look at the color of the bust, and now look at the color of Bert's shirt. Friends, it's, it's literally black. That is the worst. It's like they made it out of black tar. And they said, here's something. And it's like, well, oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that is my face. Why would you have him make it in that color? It's insanity. Added to the Burt cast. Oh, yeah. But it'll fit in perfect with all the... I love my hair. Did he give me full head He hair? gave you a full fucking head oh, hair. I fucking love this guy. You can't, you can't even yeah. tell how much hair he got because it's so dark, friends. You literally cannot see anything. You can't see any feature. All the detail, all the time they put in crafting it, it's wasted because you literally, our, our human eyes are not made to detect nuances in things that dark, friends. It's insane. Even his teeth are shit Oh, that brown. is fucking beautiful. How do I fly home with that? <laughs> just sit with it on your lap. Oh, just sit with this on your lap. <laughs> They're going to say, who's this black? What's this black man? Is that Martin Luther King? Who the hell is that? <laughs> Cassius Clay. With my Nazi teacup. Yeah. Do you want some coffee? Yeah, please use this teacup. Wow. Oh, 
it. Holy shit, what's it made out of? Shit. Shit. Poop. This is fucking awesome. We can't even see it. Oh, this it. is fucking awesome. Look at that. You can't even see the damn thing, friends. It's the worst gift I've ever seen in my life. It's the crappiest, shittiest gift. And friends, is there are there any surprises there? Are there any surprises when you're looking at these hacks, these grifters, and the lazy, stupid gifts? They can't even execute something as simple as giving a gift to somebody. If they spent thousands of dollars on it. They can't even execute that. And you got an idiot laughing in the background about how funny it is. Friends, these are the worst hacks on the internet. We're going to take them down. I am so glad to see that Sean News is growing. It's, I'm so glad to see that people are picking up because the tribe is assembling friends. I can feel the energy. It's changed. It's not just haters and losers. Even, even the peop, the Sean News friends that are responding to the haters, like everyone can see there's a massive difference in quality in every way. So, friends, thank you so much for watching the Sean News Show. Please tell your good-looking friends, your well-connected friends, to come on over to the Sean News. Stop watching that crap over there. Come on over to good old Sean News. We're going to be having fat mansion parties. We're going to be making it rain. And people are going to make money following Sean News. We've been hearing some people have said they've given their lives to Jesus. They've gotten multiple promotions. One guy said in two days, friends, he went from working at the bottom rung of the company to getting a supervisor role, and now he says he's running the entire company. It's absolutely bonkers. So, friends, you're going to want to watch Sean News. We're taking over. I would politely ask all the YMH idiot army, you know, here's the, here's the options. Either get the hell out of our way or jump on board and get at the back of the line. We don't think you're fit for this. We're going to run right over them. We're going to go right through them. We're going to put a Sean News. We're going to stake a Sean News flag in the middle of YMH Studios. And then we're going to move on to the golden hour. We're going to move on to, you know, the, the grifting hour. We're going to move on to the the Burt Kreischer show. We're going to move on to Joe Rogan's show. We're all going down. Joe Rogan's over there selling a fleshlight so he can jack off. I mean, come on. The good, old, the good Lord would not approve of that. We're taking them all down. We're Whitney Cummings. We, we actually, I'm really pissed, friends. I got to tell you, I was going to do a video on Whitney Cummings. She had an OnlyFans roast. The roast was actually quite funny. We were going to do Whitney's part. Whitney's part of the roast was terrible. Whitney roast, Whitney Cummings came up at the end of her roast. The people roasting her were hilarious, actually. I, got, I must say, we call balls and strikes, right? Whitney Cummings was terrible. And we did it freaking cut it up soon enough and now it's taken off the internet friends so we're a little bummed about that i fired all the interns that were associated with that project with friends it's all good we're gonna go big we're gonna go big friends it's gonna be amazing friends are you ready i'll see you on the other side